This is a quick run through on how to use the Zoom H6 audio recorder to record sound and to be used later on in any production that you feel that you want to create. So we have the Zoom H6 and this is what it looks like. It's fairly robust and it's made from sort of a silicone plastic combination or metal, metal combination with an LCD screen um, on the top. Basic things about it, it uses AA batteries. I use, uh, and uses four of them. I use rechargeable batteries for that. Okay, it has a slot here for memory card. So you need to have a memory card to go in there. I have got a memory card adapter and a micro 32 gigabyte, three and A1. SanDisk Extreme. To put the memory card in, it sort of has a, has a spring mechanism. And the spring mechanism, you just push it in and you have to sort of depress it and it stays in. It has four XLR inputs. So one, two, and then two on the other side, three, four. It also has different attachments that you can put on here, like the left or right um, directional microphones and multi-directional microphones and other gizmos that you can plug onto this. And it has um, on one side here, you've got the on button, you've got the volume control, the headphone, an input, micro SD card, as I said, two inputs. On the other side, we've got a USB DC 5 volts, which you can use to charge the unit. Um, it also has the menu button, toggle through the menu, and you've got the other two inputs, XLR inputs. On the top, you've got the controls here for increasing and decreasing the volumes for whichever channel you're connected to. The numbers are here, one, two, three, and four. So you can increase and decrease the volume. Then below that, you have got the left and right input, one, two, three, and four channels. Got the record button, which records, starts recording, stop, play and pause, backwards and forwards. And below it, you've got your LCD screen. Right at the bottom here, you have your line out and you have your remote for the uh, external remote control. You also have here, two hooks that you can attach things on if you want to put, put it on your neck or, or something along those lines, you can actually do that. So that's the basics of the unit and this is how to use it. Quick run through. I'm using uh, Rode wireless microphones here to actually record and I will put the units on by pressing the top section and holding it down. These have already been paired, so one is with one so these are the receivers and I'll put the transmitters on okay that's number one with number one here okay and then we've got number two with number two to put in the unit I've got an adapter I've got an adapter here so this allows me to uh, put it into the Zoom H6. And all I need to do is line up the three pins with the three holes on the unit. And then there's also uh, an arrow with a gap and there's a space right at the top. Which, okay, so we're gonna put that in there and that secures that in place. And the second one, I'm going to put that in here also, that secures that in place. So that was just a simple push it in. To switch the unit on, all I need to do is press and hold down the button on the side near the volume and push it down towards the on button. Then it will come up. To select a channel that I want to record, I just need to press the button that corresponds on the top. So I know that I'm I've put an input into one and two. So I'm going to press on one and press on two. Once I've done that, I will start to see the bars moving up and down on the unit itself. So that tells me that it's receiving a signal from that unit. And here you'll see that it's going into the red, which means that my volume is too high on number two. 
To reduce that, I just need to go to this dial here. There's an arrow on the top. And I need to reduce it until I get to the right level that I need to be. So I'm looking for a minus 12 dB to be my sort of standard level. So I will adjust that until I get that right. So I have done that. I keep on speaking until I get that right, and that's done. So for number one, I will do the same to make sure that I get to the right level. To actually record on the unit, I have to press the record button. So I will press that now, and then automatically you'll see that the line at the top with the numbers turns red. That shows me that it's recording at this point in time, and it will continue recording until I press record again, or I press stop. So I'm going to press stop there, and it stopped it. I'll press record again, and then you can see, I'll just give it a few seconds to keep on recording, but you'll see if I press record again, it will stop. So you can use both ways to do that. Um, and that's it. Once you've recorded and you've stopped, then all you need to do is switch the unit off, take your memory card out, and process the information so you can take the files out. Now what this unit does is it records all the channels that you have highlighted at the same time. And so when you take it out, you have each individual recording recorded separately. It doesn't mix it together, it's separate recordings, separate tracks. If you listen to the unit using the, micro the headphones, and there is a port here again by the volume, then what you hear is you hear each individual track recording. So if there are four people in different locations talking, you'll hear those four people talking at the same time. So sometimes it confuses people because they think, oh, is this going to be mixed in together when we um, take it out? It's not. It's still recording each track separately. It's just that while you're listening to it, you're listening to each track playing at the same time. And if you want to get a, uh, more details about how to, the nitty gritties of how to use the unit, then I'm sure there are other videos out there. Um, and you can learn how to sort of set the time, set uh, low cut and different things within the unit. But this is just your simple how to use it. If you've got one that's already been set up, how do you record? Great. Hopefully that's been useful for you.